What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be working on this Lawn Chief tractor with snowblower attachment. Paid hundred bucks for this thing at an estate sale this past summer and luckily they had a forklift, little skid steer. They were able to pick it up and plop it on my trailer and yeah here it's sat ever since. So finally taking the time we're gonna pull in the shop, throw some wrenches at it, see if we can get it back resurrected. I literally have done nothing to it, haven't looked at it, Let's see what kind of motors in it. Uh, looks like a Briggs and Stratton twin two 18 horse and as you can see here made in the USA that's always a positive so yeah let's see if we can get these tires unstuck out of the ice and we'll pull it in the shop Here she is in a nice warm shop. We're gonna let it defrost so we can fully assess the damage and see if we can get it fired up. There's a bunch of frozen dirt in there, so it'll be good to get that out. And right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some air in the tires and let them sit while this defrosts. And who knows, we might get lucky and they might hold some air. And this one, this one's actually holding air. I'm gonna go ahead and take this hood off. Hopefully make the engine defrost a little bit faster for us. Okay, I'm gonna call this good enough. It is just about defrosted. Looks like this tire is our worst out of the bunch. All the other ones are holding air for the most part. But I might try some green slime that doesn't work we'll put a tube in it but for now let's just kind of give it a once over let's take a look under here so we've got the belt it's like our pulleys are a little rusty but belts not pop that's good so we can at least get one that's the same length these are just rotten who knows if none of them are seized up it might run as is who knows how long it's been sitting but I wonder if the gearbox works. So it seems like it's in neutral. All right, that's first, second, reverse, third, fourth. Back to neutral. So the gearbox works. That's positive. Glad it came with the key as well. All right, well, we'll just leave that in there. All right, well, at least our ignition has action. Let's see if our choke is stuck. Choke has good action. Um, so engage mower clutch, disengage. So I'm guessing because we don't have the mower attachment, that's just pointless there. Uh, oil, let's check oil. Hmm. 
Mm, smells like oil. Take the plugs out, see if we can turn the motor over here in a bit. Let's uh let's check and see if anything's been making a nest in the air box here. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, move this off to the side. Let's see if this is seized at all. We got some cracking in the housing. I'll be trying to be a little gentle. Seems like it's doing something. Let's see if it's moving. Yeah, we've got good throttle action. All right. Looks pretty good. Color is not dark or too white. Looks like it was running alright. Uh, that one's a little on the darker side, but overall, not terrible. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and squirt some two-stroke mix in there just to lubricate. Here we go. engine is free um, yeah so we've got oil I guess we can hook a battery to it and uh, give it a little bump here and see if the starter is operational and then go from there So, I guess we'll check spark now. See, can you guys see that from there? Let's see. Yeah. This side's sparking. I don't know if you guys see it on camera, but it is definitely making a little blue spark. Let's try this one. So I was making spark as well. Let's uh, let's throw a compression tester and see what kind of compression we're working with. Hmm, about 105. That's that's pretty good. Check the other side. That one. A little bit more, maybe like 115. So, yeah, compression's looking good. Let's put fuel to it and see what that carburetor does. All right, I'm just following the fuel lines here. This one goes to the tank. This hose is a vacuum hose that runs to the engine. So that vacuum pressure goes and moves the diaphragm in here. And then uh, that is essentially your fuel pump. So when the engine's turning or over, this diaphragm moves back and forth, pumping fuel into the carburetor. So if we follow this hose, it goes here, and this is the tank. I'm guessing there is some sort of inline filter here, so we'll throw one of those on, fill it up with some gas, and see if our fuel pump is working.
All right, I'm gonna try cranking it over, and if our fuel pump is working, this should then fill up with fuel, so. Let's see what happens here. Nothing's happening, so either our hose is clogged or our fuel pump is not working. So I'm going to remove this and see if our hose is clogged. Yeah. Yep, nothing's coming out. It should gravity feed, so yeah, let's see what's plugging up our hose here. Yeah, so the middles are good. Try cutting off right here. Yeah. Let's look at that. That's the size it's supposed to be. And that's the diameter it is in the middle. This looks like it's just. Oh yeah. It's just like this super gummy. Look at that. So yeah, there's not much flow going through there. This hose is just toast. So I'm going to replace the hose and hopefully that fix our problem. Alright, so we're getting fuel now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and see if it'll start. Yeah, how that filled up like that tells me that there is some vacuum pulling it, so I think our fuel pump's alright. So the float bowl is probably getting close to full. I'm going to go ahead and turn the throttle up. And then pull our choke. And try it again. See what happens here. All right, I'm going to take a little squirt and put it right into the air cleaner and see if we can get it to cough. So with fuel, it starts. So it looks like our carburetor might have some gunk in it, not allowing it to get to the engine like it's supposed to. I'm gonna try it a little bit more, and if not, we'll uh, take the carburetor apart and see if we can clean it up. Yeah, I tried it a couple more times, and it's just not getting fuel, so. Let's go ahead and take this carburetor off, see what we can do to clean it. So this definitely was filling up with fuel because it's dumping everywhere now. So fuel pump's working. Let's just clean it up and put it back on. So I think we're going to leave the fuel pump alone since we know that's working. No point in taking it apart and risking the diaphragm being damaged. Looks like this gasket stayed intact. So that's good. This is our idle adjustment here. That is our air fuel mixture screw, I'm guessing. And our choke is up here, so I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts out and then start cleaning it out. There we go. Alright, that was kind of rough. This gasket was very stuck on there but I think for the most part we can reuse it 
We'll see. There's a little piece right here that broke off, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, for this gasket, we really needed it to be fully intact, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can trace it onto some gasket material and cut it out. Alright, so the gasket turned out really good. Got it all match-match. So I'm going to go ahead and clean out all the holes with compressed air, carb cleaner, make sure all the patches ways are free of debris, put it back together, and see if it fires up. So I'm going to get this air screw out of here, so I'm going to see how many turns it's out, and then uh, we can set it back to where it was. It's half, one, one and a half, alright, that's one and a half turns out. all cleaned up. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. Alright, so we got the carburetor all back together. Got the choke cable on, all the throttle linkage, and I went ahead and put the air box back on because I really don't want to force feed it any fuel. I want to see if it'll fire up just on its own. So we'll turn it over and fill up the carb bowl and see what happens here. Right, get a little throttle and pull the choke out. See what happens here. Neutral.
Sweet. <laughs> so we got a runner. Now what should we do? Let's uh let's get some slime in this tire and see if this thing will roll anywhere. The auger is now free of debris and rocks. We've got slime in the tires. They seem to be holding for now, so I think we're gonna fire it up and pull it forward, pull it back, engage the auger, see what happens up front, make sure all of our pulleys are rolling like they're supposed to and nothing seized up, and we'll just go from there. Some solid progress so far very happy with this thing but I think we'll call it for part one this video is getting a little on the longer side but in part two we'll do a fluid check for the front and the rear and just give it a little more thorough investigation so if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe and we'll wait for some snowfall and put this thing to the test thanks for watching